What's up guys? It's a beautiful, fairly sunny day here in Ithaca, New York for a change. So let's celebrate, huh? Hit a big, give me a big thumbs up down below if you like sunlight, if you like vitamin D, or just staying healthy in general. But enough of that. Let's get down to business. What are we doing today? We're looking at a new car. New used car, obviously. What car might that be? Check it out. So here she is. 2007 Audi A4 with the Quattro 2 liter turbo, right? This is my friend Fari. Tell us more, Fari. What do you do with this? With, how, how do you come to drive in this car? So my dad gave it to my mom after the divorce. He was like, here, drive this in the winter. Drive in the winter. <laughs> so this is a winter winter car. And my car's at the shop. So now I'm driving a convertible around. So we've got the vert. It's the winter beater. Taking a quick look at the interior, we got uh, some pretty decent looking wood here, you know, Quattro emblem right there again. Uh, footwell, I wouldn't say is spacious, but of course this is a convertible, so I gotta adjust my standards for the SUV life. You know, I, I'd say I have a fair amount, more room than uh, the old uh, Rabbit Volkswagen my sister used to drive. Another small car I'm familiar with. We got a very 2007 Dash here. Uh, let me go ahead put on my seatbelt real quick and we can take a look at the uh, rest of this vehicle. So far, Shorty's riding pretty smooth. I am thinking about other convertibles I've ridden in. And the last one was definitely a, I don't know what year, but it was a one of those 370Z Nissans. And Nismo, right? The That thing was a bit smaller than this, it seemed. And I mean, probably more of a sportier car. But that one was definitely a much more rough ride than this. This is a very smooth, as you can see, there are some bumps. We're on a pretty smooth road right here. But really, it's just taking the, you know, the, the dips in the road pretty well. It seems like the suspension's decent. I don't know, you know if your mom's uh, been keeping up with the maintenance or what? Pretty well maintained car, you know? Yes. Must be, we're driving it. See, we're inspected up here. It does pass inspection. Um, I'm gonna, land here at McDonald's in a few and get more angles of the exterior, etc. So, here we go. Alright, ready? Put that roof over. So, getting cold? No problem. And this car has a roof. If you guys didn't know, a convertible is a vehicle that converts to an open air experience. Show them where we are. But then, you can also, you know, get a roof back over your head. Now, if you're looking at a used vert, it's good to make sure that works. And on this car, it does. So this car um, is a good vert for vert purposes. Let's see how good it is for ordering McDonald's. A few luxuries I see here. You got the heated seats uh, the shake. FM radio, classic. I'm not sure what this is. All right. Automatic Are you good? Can with I okay. shift capabilities. Are you good? Can I Center console, as I imagine on a vert, you know, just enough room for a couple golf balls and paper towel. But also my forearm, so I'm grateful for that. A couple cup holders. Coolest thing you recall going down with this vehicle? Nice mustache. Um. Damn, I've only been driving it for like a, a week, but um. Like what kind of tricks can it do? Like what do you like most about it besides the roof? Um, I like that it's an Audi, so I can take a picture of the steering wheel, show them the steering wheel. <laughs> Alright, we'll take a brief break for lunch. And after the McDee's messages, we will go ahead and take a look at the dashboard. What did you say? I said I can break one of these windows with one punch. We need to find a beater car so I can substantiate all these seemingly bogus claims. It's here. not bogus. If you give me gloves, <laughs> not like gloves, but like thin gloves so I don't cut my hand open, I will punch a window. I will break it. I promise. Yeah, brass knuckles? Yeah. No, not brass knuckles. Just like cloth gloves for like gardening. If you give me two punches. See, now I'm trying to smash these windows. Two That'd punches, I will break it. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I think you're you're underestimating the the, the durability of glass. 
Got the glove box here, pretty simple, open, boom, just like that. And it kind of, it doesn't just drop on your knees, which I like, as it is right here by my knees. If you look here, we got the CD changer in the glove box. That's kind of cool, I didn't know. Did you know that was there for? I didn't even know they made cars like what that. What is this? It's a power button for the CD, CD charger? I guess. I, I don't know. Uh-oh. I haven't used stuff like this in a while. Right here, you got a little storage compartment, pops open. And here, you see it look, what's that, a credit card pocket? Hell yeah, dude, it pops right open, big enough for credit cards and change, whatever. Cool shit, what else we got? got a couple blank buttons, thanks Audi. And no, uh, hazards, what's that? Especial? Something special is gonna happen. Ooh. No idea. Did it again? I'll send your airbag off. I wonder if Don't I can worry about that. eject the airbag from here. No, 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 just leave it on in case you get to an accident. Cause I don't want to die out here. Um, what's this? Parking brake is on. <laughs> yeah, this light. Okay, wait. So right now, believe it or not, my foot is not on the brake. No, nope. that's what it means. So, so that's red. the no. That's the and your foot's not on the brake. On the brake, right. it turns off. Very strange, because as you can see, we are in park. I've never seen this kind of warning yeah, feature. Yeah, kind of backwards, the right? German engineering. Bro. Very backwards. Shout out to Germany. But then I bought two. Wanted a thotty and then I f two.